The Causeway Upgrade project is a $200 million job. We're effectively raising the road by about two metres to combat uh, sea level rising and the current sinking of the existing road. Maintaining the safety of the workers and the people travelling along the network is important and keep the people working away from the people driving. So safety is a key issue for us. So Billy's role is uh, the main STMS during the day shift and he's looking after the entire work site. The traffic's uh, moving at 80 kilometres an hour and then suddenly we're, we're travelling westbound and we end up doing 20 or 30 and you're thinking, ah, oh, another breakdown. Billy was in the attenuator and it was actually the vehicle that was right in front of Billy that had slowed down to about 30 kilometres an hour. Uh, he was just weaving slowly across all lanes. Well, first of all, I thought he was drunk. Then I got closer and saw the head bobbing, going in and out of consciousness, so he wasn't drunk. And then I saw his wife yelling at him to get him to wake up. Then I blasted on my horn and uh, put on my lights and uh, pad into action, trying to make a way through the uh, traffic that was already in front of me. The attenuator's a big vehicle. He puts the buffer down. If he does get hit from behind himself, he's got some protection as well. I get alongside him and force him over to the shoulder, there's a shoulder down here. He's in the shoulder, but his door still opens to the live lane, so no he's parking behind him because he's just walking out in front of traffic. So you let the truck get hit, don't worry about the truck. The main thing is to make sure that the site is secure. That's just your natural thing to do, that's what you train for. Jumped out of my truck, ran over to him and his wife was yelling out, oh, he's a diabetic, he's a diabetic. Being quite a sweet tooth myself, I had a heap of lollies in my truck, so I gave him my lollies and my cook. He swallowed those down and then a paramedic turned up, stabilised him. He'd come to and he was actually chatting away. We offered to try to take his car home, just had a convoy go back to Henderson where that guy lived. The vehicle that my boy was driving pulled up on Henderson Valley Road and got out and I said, where the heck are you going? He said, oh, a lady told us where she's got to buy us some lunch. So she wanted to buy some pies from the bakery. Just yelled at him, get back in the car, you know, that's, that's the thing that caused all the problem in the first place, all the bad food. And yeah, my guy wasn't too happy about that, he was quite keen on a free feed. Billy's well liked and he's always acted in a, in a well, well thought out, caring manner. I think the fact that he's been recognised for that is a real tribute to his character. Here on the causeway we've created an environment where people can be empowered to make decisions for themselves when they see the needs. They've been trained, they've got the skills and they can respond appropriately. And in Billy's case, that was a fantastic example. One of the Fulton Hogan golden rules is traffic, obviously. It's one of the highest risks. You know, it could have been a drunk driver, he could have just driven past. But he went the extra mile by getting him safely off the road, and also the traffic behind could carry on safely without a car weaving all over the motorway. If I was to say to anybody else working on another project, if they see anything that's not safe, Act on it and do something then and there. Don't wait, don't hesitate. Take the appropriate action to make change. You could be saving a life.